Carlos. Hellhound. First scary video in today's list of top five scary videos has been causing a stir over on TikTok, and it's one that is pretty creepy. The man is convinced his house is haunted by something evil and sinister. There's our four-legged shadow figures appear in his peripheral vision, and he often hears strange noises and growls coming from a downstairs room where most of the activity occurs. One night before the man heads upstairs to bed, he sets up his camera in the downstairs room where most of the activity is centered around, and this is what he captures on camera. As the man walks up the stairs, you can clearly see a creepy shadow with what looks like four legs moving quickly up the stairs behind him. Then, the door to the closet downstairs creaks open, and what appears to be a ghostly figure with a pale white face peeks out before slowly disappearing like it was never there. TikTok commenters suggest that the shadow is perhaps that of a hellhound due to how quickly it moves and that it has what looks like four legs. However, I have no idea if this clip is real or fake, so as always, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. The Ship In this next scary video, YouTube explorer The Strangest, along with Michael Scott and Joey Adventures, investigate the USS North Carolina battleship, which is apparently haunted. The first part of the video, the team explore the dark, creepy compartments of the battleship together as a group and hear odd bangs and weird sounds throughout their paranormal investigation. However, earlier in the night, they each set out on a solo paranormal investigation of the supposedly haunted ship and livestream the whole thing to their fans. The strangest ventures alone down to the dark depths of the lower deck of the ship. The ship is eerily dark and creepy, and while the strangest is streaming live, he hears bangs and crashes coming from somewhere in the darkness of the ship. But he brushes it off, convincing himself that it's nothing. As he journeys deeper through the dark and creepy lower deck of the haunted battleship, he comes across a dimly lit corridor and it suddenly becomes clear that he is not alone at all. Take a look. Hmm. Hmm. You guys can hear things. I heard a noise coming from this hallway. The woman just left. I went, uh, accidentally turned the camera on myself. Watch that be the time I actually see something. As he walks into a corridor, which oddly has the lights on, a demonic light voice can be heard saying, Get out of here. However, the stranger claims he didn't hear it at the time of recording, but he felt like he was being watched the whole time. Then, as he goes to investigate a creepy noise coming from somewhere in the darkness, his phone camera mysteriously changes to selfie mode, all on its own. When he notices his phone has switched to selfie mode, he goes to switch it back, and a horrifying, ghoulish face of something sinister can be seen standing behind him in the darkness. Set aside the poor quality footage due to this being a live stream recording, you can clearly make out the nose and the face of whatever it is that stood right behind him. But that's not the end of the strangest paranormal investigation. As he walks further into the haunted battleship, he enters a cafeteria type room and captures this on camera. Milk, something, some water. All these stairs got me thirsty. I definitely heard something back there. 
If you look closely to the right of the screen, a shadow of something seems to move quickly off screen. The Strangers claims that with everything that happened to him and the other two group members that night on board the supposedly haunted USS Battleship that he firmly believes he caught, quote, spirits on camera. But what do you think? Did the Strangers actually capture a spirit on camera aboard the haunted battleship? Or are they just illusions? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Fred. In this next set of scary clips, taken from the YouTube channel, The Lost Entities, something rather creepy happens. The family behind the YouTube channel are located somewhere in Wales and are convinced their house is quote, haunted by something. Lights flicker all the time, lampshades swing back and forth, and objects levitate in the air mysteriously all on their own. One night while the family are relaxing in their home, the activity in their home picks up and one of the girls captures it all on camera. Take a look. You're just sat there on your phone while the light is going for gold. I'm getting used to it now. The I, two of them are going mine. I told you I got a picture today, tonight. Yeah, you rang me. Yeah, but you, it's you it is. <laughs> no, because I'm not being funny, me and Jordan were sat here. That dog picture come off there, but yet it's behind the telephone. There's no way that can come flying off there on its own. Like, no window's open. And it come flying off its own. And then you message me straight after it happened. I need cameras in here. Yeah, you do. Look at that, though. Look at that. On the ceiling, right in front of me. The door, the door, the door, the door. Look oh, at that. Man. The door's never done that, ever. Wow. Oh my god. What was that? Jamie. Yeah. What? That was us, we shut the door, love. Right? Yeah, we shut it. Your door shut myself. Yeah, yeah bathroom windows open. It is, the bathroom windows open. It's just the wind. lights on the ceiling begin to swing back and forth and the mother of the family just sits there on her phone unfazed by the activity happening around her. Paranormal activity must happen frequently in their home as she states that she's used to it now and continues to be unfazed by what's going on right in front of her. Then a door slowly but creepily closes shut all by itself. Then one of the daughters comes running down the stairs asking the mum what just happened and that her door upstairs had shut by itself at the same time as the door downstairs closed. Not wanting to frighten the young girl, the mother and sister tell her it must have just been the wind. All the while, the lights in their room continue to creepily swing back and forth. In this next clip, the activity in their home gets even stranger. Watch this. Plenty of activity here tonight. Go upstairs, Jane. Go upstairs. I don't like it. My well, charger's down here. Well, take it with you then. Where's your other charger? Right, go on. Go get out, Jane. That's my charger. Come on. What do you think of that in back? Come on, Freddy. I know we call you Freddy, but we don't know what to call you yet. But we like it. <gasps> Wowzers. 
again the ceiling lights swing from side to side and this time the younger daughter notices it and is freaked out and flees the room. Then as the mother is sat at a dining room table, the cabinet door behind her opens seemingly all on its own, causing the mother to leap away in fear. Then while they're sitting watching TV, they ask Fred to do something and then an empty beer can on the coffee table somehow flies off and onto the floor, startling them both. However, as time goes on, the activity becomes stronger and things start to get even weirder. Right, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the phone handset has just lifted itself up. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look, look, look. He's trying to communicate with us. Yeah, what does he want? What do you want? He's trying to okay. communicate. Go on. Put the light on, put the light on. The light is on, you can clearly see there is no fishing wire or strings. It's just hovering. Look at that. Don't touch it. You don't have to touch it. Look at that picture go. The curtain is moving. I did, I'm filming it. The light, the light, the light. See with me, the freaking shitty man. The light's going down. Can you go now, can you? You'll be alright. Oh yeah. I'm not lying, the fucking picture is levitating. The receiver end of a telephone strangely hovers in the air and moves around bizarrely, all by itself. Then a large picture on the wall somehow moves on the wall, all on its own. If that wasn't odd enough, on another night, one of the curtains by the window begins to move and a picture begins to levitate in the air unexplainably. And at the same time as all this is occurring, the ceiling lights continuously swing back and forth over and over again. Now I am in no way saying this is evidence of paranormal activity or that any of these clips are real, but what I will point out is that the girl recording and the mother's reaction do make this kind of believable. And they even go as far as to show us that none of the objects are attached by any wires. So just what on earth could be moving these objects in this family's haunted home? And is it real or fake? As always, it's your call. The Poltergeist House This next scary video has been shared before, however it's one that has so much quote paranormal activity in it that I felt it's worthy to be in this week's top 5 list of scary videos. Joe and Chris from the YouTube channel Urban Ghost Urban Exploration visit a creepy house that at the time of recording was under reconstruction and is apparently haunted. The house which had been vacant for some time, was being reconstructed for Chris's friend, and apparently they had to hire several contractors as each one has quit due to experiencing paranormal activity while working on the old property. One of the contractors became so petrified after seeing a large shadow figure walk towards him from down the hall that he never returned to finish the job or collect his equipment. Joe and Chris visited this house the night before and spent 30 minutes inside. They captured creepy noises and bizarre things on camera, 
but nothing compared to the next video where Joe decides to go back to the house and spend 30 minutes alone. Or so he thinks. The video starts out with Joe explaining that when he recorded the following footage of his solo paranormal investigation in the so-called Poltergeist house, that the intro and the outro of his recorded footage were completely blank when he came to put the video together. He goes on to explain that when he returned home after filming the following footage, that he was laying in bed in his room with the lights off and he could hear the creepy voice of a woman talking. The talking was so loud that he thought maybe somebody was outside his property. So he got up to check, but no one was outside. He grabbed his camera and started filming the talking woman in his home, but when he goes to play his footage back, the tape was blank. Just like his intro and outro in the footage he recorded of the haunted house earlier that night. The video then moves on to the recording of Joe inside the supposedly haunted house, where Joe can be seen talking to the camera where a door mysteriously closes and opens behind him. Joe doesn't notice, but says he heard something behind him and goes to investigate. For the first few minutes, nothing much really happens other than the odd whisper and creepy noise. However, around the seven minute mark, things start to get very intense. Take a look. It's just telling me that this basketball rolled down the hall with him. And, uh, I just watched his video and I couldn't believe it. Freaky. Okay, that was for me moving, I'm sure. Oh, 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 oh that made me jump. That, I don't think that's paranormal, guys. That was me. Alright, now this was the room. I heard voices. All right, now I'm gonna to switch to this. I'm definitely here by myself. So. Holy crap! Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Wait a second. Wait a second, all right. Now I know what he means. That's freaky as hell. Oh my god. Oh, holy god. All right, I love this. Man, is that freaky. Can you move that ball again? Did you throw the ball at me? There's no way. I mean, there's no freaking way. All right. All right, well. This is gonna be awesome. All right, I'm going back to this light again. You like me going around with this light on? Can you do the move the ball? Okay. 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 Okay, this is freaking great. Are you a child? What if I hear something moving around? Okay, this back. Freaky, that is so freaky. Wow, I can't even believe this. I hear, I hear. Guys, if you like, I always tell you when I'm doing these videos, I always ask you to put your headset on, and I hear, I hear something like whispers. 
I can tell you I'm a little nervous. I'm sweating like crazy. Okay. Okay. That ball. I'm not going to run around like an idiot, but you know what? Holy God, that's scary. That is so scary. Poltergeist house, huh? Ready or not, here I come. Joe finds a basketball in a closet in one of the rooms, which rolls off the shelf and bangs loudly on the floor. The same basketball that rolled down the hall towards Chris when they did their investigation the other night. Then. As Joe switches to his infrared flashlight, a creepy voice can be heard whispering the name Joe before the basketball all of a sudden launches at him with full force. Joe inspects the room where the basketball came from, but it's empty. He switches back to infrared, and as he's walking down the hallway, the basketball again flies at him, frightening the heck out of Joe. More strange noises and whispers can be heard coming from somewhere in the darkness. And as Joe enters a room far from where it originally was, the basketball comes flying at him again, causing Joe to become increasingly scared. He runs to the other side of the house to try and find whatever threw the ball at him, but no one's there. Then, the door to the room slams shut. Joe, approaching with caution, opens it slowly and inspects the room again, but once again, it's empty. In this next part, the activity in the house gets even weirder. Take a look. It's so freaking awesome, no? Okay. Can you do that again, please? Now you guys can see I'm my hands here. <laughs> can you do that again? What? don't at the same time. Okay, I'm done with this room. Oh yeah, close that door. Awesome. I have not had something like this in so long. Oh, forget it. This is great. Ooh, okay. Okay. racing I want to leave 
So the door keeps saying this, though, what is behind me? Okay, I'm not going to spend the whole time here. Are you somebody who died here? Yeah, there you go. Move that door. I'm not coming in after you. Come out to me. What the frick? Okay, the dog scared me. I don't want to do a 30 minute loan challenge on the store, but I don't want to leave the store. Okay, something does not want me in there. Oh. Holy crap, something said something behind me. Here's the deal now. This is the last time I'm spinning around in this room. That's it. It's done. Yeah, go ahead. Are you a spirit that died here? Say something to me. Did you die in this house? I heard a growl. Do this. Get, get my head together here for a second. All right, I'm gonna. I, I don't even want to go down the hall right now. This is insane. And there's something demonic sounding in this in this room right here. It just keeps going. Rrr. This is the room where the basketball was. <laughs> oh my gosh, right. I'm, I'm definitely. Okay. I'm gonna save her. Hold on, guys. I have a blue father. Please. Please be with me. Okay, alright, alright, here, go over here. slams shut behind Joe and begins to rattle. Joe opens the door and once again, the room is empty. He closes the door and it starts to rattle again. When he goes to open it, for some strange reason, it's now locked. He manages to get the door open and when he takes a look outside, the house is completely empty. Then the door shuts behind him and starts shaking once more. Joe is now becoming extremely frightened but continues his investigation as he hasn't captured anything like this on camera for a very long time. He pushes open the door which mysteriously closes back on him with force, as if something is behind it. Stating that he's done with the room, the door unexplainably closes slowly and then swings open all by itself. The door continues to rattle and Joe tries to open it but it slams shut on him again. He barges through it into the room but bizarrely no one's inside. Joe takes a minute to get his head together before he proceeds with his investigation this time in infrared. 
The door to the room where most of the activity has been centred around can be heard tapping against its hinges. Joe slowly approaches and peeks inside the room, but when he leaves, the door violently slams shut, just missing him by an inch. Joe then says a prayer, and whatever is in there doesn't seem to respond well to it. So, did Joe manage to capture real evidence of paranormal activity on camera? Or is it all fake? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. You can watch more of Joe and his exciting paranormal investigations over on his YouTube channel, Urban Ghosts, Urban Exploration. Before we move on to number one, if you love watching scary videos just as much as my current subscribers do, you should join them by subscribing to my channel. I release scary videos every single week and if scary videos are your thing, make sure you subscribe right now and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as I upload a new scary video. The Curse This next video isn't real, however, it is super scary. The video is taken from the YouTube channel True Horror Stories POV, who create and upload reenacted short horror movies based on real people's stories and their terrifying experiences. In this particular video, which I must say gave me a few heart attacks, a woman called Nakia is seen waiting for a girl called Adeline who eventually shows up and then passes her some rolled up money as full payment, probably for her outstanding rent. Confused why Adeline is handing her the full amount as she's usually behind on her payments, Nakia asks how she managed to come up with the full amount and Adeline replies with that she struck the lottery. Adeline then goes on to explain that she did a ritual to get this money and that she was shown Nakia how she can do it herself. The ritual involved a banana tree and a needle or nail and then when the clock strikes midnight to look through her legs, something Nakia would later regret doing. That's all I'm going to say without spoiling the video, so without further ado, is the clip. Do it, do it. <laughs>
Tunggu, tunggu, tunggu. Kalau tak, kita akan... Tak apa, aku. Aku. Aku apa? Astagfirullahaladzim, aku apa? Paku tu. Mana? Paku tu. Paku tu. Nakia takes the elevator up, but gets off on the wrong floor. She drops her keys on the ground, and when she picks them up, she takes a look between her legs, like Adeline told her, but she sees nothing. She looks again, and all of a sudden, a figure with odd-looking feet, dressed in white, with long hair, can be seen just hovering behind her. But when Nakia looks around, the figure has vanished. Nakia is terrified and runs for her life. When she manages to get away, she turns around and the horrifying figure, which is making creepy giggling sounds, has followed her. Nakia flees in fear and climbs a flight of stairs before the figure can be seen again, this time in front of her. She runs down the stairs and the figure appears again, stopping her in her path. Nakia runs back up the stairs and curls up into a ball and starts crying. Her uncle then turns up and demands she remove the nail from the banana tree so the spirit leaves her alone. He also states not to listen to anything she hears. Then, on the is at the tree, she hears an odd voice that says, that nail. And when she spins the camera around, the horrifying face of the figure who was stalking her can be seen, causing Nakia to flee in terror.